Hello everyone. Uh, on our last video, we did a budget on a family income household budget. So this one is a question paper, 2018 November, paper, paper one. On this, they were doing the national budget for, it was national budget and education. So we're going to look at this form, the year 2017, 2018. We're going to look at the budget and then look at the questions. And then I'm going to try help you how to answer these questions. Okay, here it says national budget and educational budget. So when you look at these two columns, this side is the national budget of South Africa in rains. And this side is the educational budget of South Africa in rains. This is how the country has budgeted for each health, economic affairs, each, each department. And this side, this whole section is the money that is divided to education. So we're going to look at the first question. It's question 2.3.1. It says, which of the amount below represent the economic affairs and agriculture budget? Now let's go to the diagram again. You see, the first one is the under the national budget, the economic affairs and agriculture. The amount is 241 Point six billion. So when you look at the question paper, the options that they've given you, they don't have the word billion. So actually in this question, they want to see if you understand how to write numbers, how to write a billion, how to write a million. So this is the first thing that I'm going to do now. I'm going to explain to you how you write numbers. Right. The first thing, numbers are divided into groups of three. So this one is 231. Now, this is the first three group. When you go to the next group, it's thousands. So if I have a two here, it's 2,231. Now these thousands, there'll be three numbers. So let's say we have a zero here and a one. So these are hundreds, these are thousands. Now if I go to the next one, I go to millions. So if I have a four here, it's four million and 12,231. So do you see, every time it's three, three, three. When we go to the next three, it, it changes the name. Now here, let's have one and four. Now it's 144,012,231. So it's three, three, three. Now when I go to the next one, these are, are, are billions. So I have four billion, 144,012,000. 231. So this is very important for you to memorize that the first 300,000 million billions. This will help you to answer this question. This question, when you look at what they are asking you, the economic affairs, and it's 241.6, and then they've written billion in words. But now, when you go to the options that they've given you, the word billion is not there. So billion, I know that I'll have one, two, three. This is the hundreds. One, two, three. This is the thousands. And then one, two. Now I would write three, but because it's comma six, so it means I don't only have billions, I have millions as well. So the six is here, and then it's 241 um, billion. Yes, 241 billion, 600 million. When you look to at your question paper, your option is B. So in your answer sheet, you may write the whole thing like that, or you may write it B. You get um, a mark for each one of them. Okay, let's go to the next question. 2.3.2, the question says, explain the term budget within this context above. So what is a budget? A budget is the proposed way which money will be spent on different items. A budget is when you plan with this money, I plan to use it like that like this. It's not that you have used it already, it's the plan that you have. Okay, let's go to the next question. 2.3.3. Write down the item which received the third most money from the education budget. So it means we only concentrated concentrating on the education budget. And then they say you must find the third largest. So you look at the amount that you have. The one with the most budget is the basic education with 216.7 billion. The next largest will be university with 31.6 billion. And then the third largest, when you look at them, 
the third largest is I think is this one skill development level institution so when they said the third largest the the one that that is the the third the first one the second one the third one the third biggest one so is this one so your answer for 2.3.3 will be skill development levy institution get it from there 2.3.4 the question says calculate the percentage of the total education budget that is allocated to the nsfas okay so we want the percentage and the percentage um, from the total education budget and nsfas okay there's a video that i made that it it, it helps us with this percentage um from formulas let's look at that formula now you remember this formula when you ask percentage and you ask other things as long as you have percentage percentage over 100 is equals to part over total so in this question we ask percentage they said calculate the percentage of nsfas from the total budget so percentage the percentage is equals to part what is the part the part is the nsfas budget so the part is 15.3 billion so i'm not gonna write the billion because the total is also in billions so i'm gonna leave it like that so the total the total is from what the total is from the education budget the education budget we on the national budget we are given the total education budget on this side all this amount they are equal to 320.5 billion so this is the total of the education budget so it's three two zero comma five and then you remember in our formula we are dividing by hundred so we're going to multiply by hundred here and then we'll take our calculator and then we punch this and then the answer will be in percentage so it's four comma seven seven percent so this is the percentage of NSFAS in the total net educational uh, budget. So let's go to the next question. Okay, uh, 2.3.5. University subsidies compri comprises about 9.86% of the total educational budget. Estimate the combined budget f as a percentage for education, administration, and the NSFAS. Okay, in this question, the first thing, they don't expect you to calculate the percentage. They expect you to estimate the percentage using the one that they've given you already. They are telling you that the university subsidy, so you go to your table and find the national university subsidy, is this one. It's 31.6 billion. So they are telling you with that amount is about 9.8% of the national budget, of educational budget. Now they are asking you the other two, when they are together, which other two they, they are talking about is education administration, this one, education administration, which is 15,800, and the NSFAS, which is 15,300 billion. This is 15,800 billion, 15,000. 300 billion so when you add them together you will get 15.8 plus 15.3 so you actually get 31,000.1 billion the one that they've given to you is 31.6 billion when you add this together you get 31.8 31.1 billion what they are asking you to do is to estimate. So what do you expect it to be? Is it going to be more than 9.86 or is it going to be less? That's what they expect you. Mass literacy is everyday life. Sometimes you're in a shop, you want to buy something and then you compare it to another one. You look at your mind, you say, will, will I have more? Will I have less? Estimate. So it's a skill that they are teaching you to do. To estimate, not really calculate. So this one, it's 9.86 the one that we uh, and the total was 31.6 the one that they want us to ex estimate is 31.1 a little bit less than this so it means the amount can be the percentage can be more than 
30. But it cannot be that low because it's not that far. It's 31.6 and the, the one that we are asked is 31.1. So in the memo, you are actually given 2.3.5. Uh, if you have a nine point, maybe eight zero percent, as long as your number is lower than the nine point eight six, if it's a little bit less than that, you'll get full marks. You can't have a number that's more than that because the total value was less than the the one that um, we are given percentage for. So the the the, the memo actually says you can have. Uh, let me check it for you. It says accept any estimates from 9.5 but less than 9.86%. So it can be more than 9.86 because that money is a little bit less. And it can be as less and you when you say estimate, you don't mean choose any number. It can be, you can't say 2.5 and then expect to get marks. No, they want you to think about it. So if you have anything from 9.5, up to 9.96 will be correct so like the one that i've chose 9.80 that that would be fine okay this is the end of our lesson and um, this is uh how we handle this question i hope to do more questions for you in the future thank you for watching